First and foremost, I want to give all of the praises and the glory to the Most High and the Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekar, Kodash. Double honest to the apostles of the great no stone that told me what I know today, and as well as giving you brothers your deserved salutations worldwide for forwarding this ministry in Shalom to you, Akim Wagwaf Yum, and as well as your brother Laban once again coming at you with another video in regards to this coronation thing that uh, King Charles III wants us to partake in, and as well as swearing an allegiance to him as well. And first and foremost, I want to read this article over here that most of the British people are not interested in the king's coronation, Paul, as they found out, right? So let's read on with this. So this reads, uh, most British people are not interested in the king's, king's coronation, though many said they would still watch it or take part in, re in related festivities, according to a YouGov poll. In a survey, more than 3,000 adults conducted this month, 35% said they do not care very much about the historical event 29 percent said they do not care at all some 24 percent of the people said they care a fair amount while only nine percent said they care a great deal despite this a notable portion 46 percent said they are likely to watch the coronation or take part in related celebrations um coronation apathy is particularly high among younger age groups with 75% of people aged between 18 and 24 saying they do not care very much or at all about the event. And 69% of those aged between 25 and 49 saying the same. So, as you would expect, the younger generation, which is, you know, younger than I am, wouldn't really see this as a great deal of importance. Because, you know, they grew up in a different time period, not to really give two craps about it, any doggone way. You know, and um, as well as my generation, uh, we don't we also do not care at all about this even as well, you know, and as well as what they found out is even the older generation, which which uh, are pro royals, even among over 65s, the most pro royal demographics, 53 percent said they did not care very much all at all, even. And um, the reason why people don't care is because let's just be honest, people's needs are not met for the most part. You know, most people down here in the UK are struggling, man, out here. You know what I mean? They're not getting their just due when it comes to taking care, you know, their matters from a financial perspective. Okay, a lot of us are not are not fortunate enough. And um, the government that we have are not making things better for us. They're not making the world a better place for us. And, um, you know, like I said, most of us are not getting our necessities met at all. So for the most part, the people are like, well, you know what? To hell with y'all. If y'all don't want to help us out and, and getting us out of this this ridiculous situation we're in, where in that we're struggling and y'all are doing too well, when excuse me, then what's really the point? What's really the point of us cleaving onto you and doing what you want us to do? Nah, the hell with that, man. All right. And another thing too, another reason why people don't really take too much of a liking to these people because they've been exposed for being the wicked. They've been exposed that they don't have our interests at heart. They have their own interests at heart and really who they serve is Satan and they're doing Satan's deeds. They're into that sorcery and they're in that witchcraft and that's been found out about the royal family that, you know, among them there's, there's pedophilia going on. You know, among them, there's there's your witches and your warlocks, and they are witches and warlocks for the most part. All of this stuff has been exposed in the, in the air. All right. So that's why this this reads: so they shall make their own tongues to fall upon themselves. And you've had people that were among these people that exposed them, these kind of folk as well. And all that them, excuse me, and all that see them shall flee away. And this is why people are separating themselves from these politicians. These so-called proclaimed royals and what have you, right? Because these people are really evil and wicked, man. And I mean, you could tell by looking at this guy's face that he doesn't have a good heart. You know, he doesn't have it in for the people when it comes to good. Let me just say it that way, right? There's there's a bad, evil, wicked uh, agenda that this guy wants to bring to the forefront. To destroy people's lives. And I mean that's what he's a part of. He's a part of that elk. That wants to bring people to. A, uh, a, a you know a life of, of misery. So to speak. Which also King Charles III. 
is also the head of the World Economic Forum. And you already know what they're all about. Okay? They're all about that new world system, as they call it, the Great Reset. Which involves people being on the full surveillance, full control, and, and having much more of a miserable life, like I've mentioned. As I'm going to say again. Alright? So this is what most people are waking up to, man. Most people are wising up to this. All right, that they're evil and they're wicked and they have evil and wicked intentions and they are not good people for the most part. Uh, Mark 4 verse 22, for there is nothing hid which shall be not be manifest. Neither was anything kept secret, but that it should come abroad. And in this time that we're living in, we're living in the times of revelation, man. And in the times of revelation, all is going to be revealed, bro. Everything's going to be revealed for what it is. And for the most part, the wicked is going to be revealed. The Edomites are going to be revealed for the nasty works that they do and their evil agendas that they want to get up into showing to the people. All right. They got evil, wicked agendas, man. Their evil, wicked agendas that they want to put in effect against the people. All right. All of this is being made manifest. Do the spirit and power of your how about me outshine. Now most of the people are looking at them sideways. Plus, most people are struggling out here. Alright? Which is one of the main reasons why most people don't really care. And if people do join, as I've just read in this right here, it's really it's really to do with the festivity. Not out of respect, genuine respect for their uh so-called king, have you will. People are gonna get involved because it's just something to do. Not to please their leader okay because they're not pleased with their leader to please their leader in the first place anyway okay job 20 and verse 27 the heaven shall reveal his iniquity and the earth shall rise up against him and that's what's happening man like all of the wickedness that these devils have done from the very top so much so has come out and and uh it's so much of a shame now that even other devils don't even want to be among or, or to even claim these devils all right, like this individual here, he's throwing <laughs> the monarch under the bus, man, by exposing him and everything. I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm pretty positive that being that he's a former British soldier, as you can see behind him, you know, he's a great advocate for his country, his nation. So you better believe that once upon a time, he was, he was all the way in support of the monarch and 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 um all the and all of that which is in relation to the to the country right but he don't flip the script he's exposing them he's like yo these people are nothing but thugs i'm gonna let you check the video out but i'm not gonna play it on here what i'm gonna do is i might put it on post-production or i might not even do that i might even uh give you the link on the description box and you can check it out what he's saying all right so you got a lot of people that share his sentiment and I guarantee you, he got more likes than dislikes on this video. Okay? Because a lot of people share his sentiment. They feel the same way. This guy is a diehard for his people, for his nation. All right? And even he's like, man, to hell with them people. Okay? Because what? As verse 3 puts it in Sirach, chapter 10. An unwise king destroyed his people, but through... The prudence of them which are in authority, the city is inhabited. All right. And that's what we have. We have an unwise people that are ruling with with um, knowledge of wisdom, which is wickedness. And this is how you destroy your power construct. So much so that people really would like to get at them in the most violent way I'm talking about. I'm not talking about in a good way. I'm talking about you got people out here that really want to take their heads off, man. Okay, because they're they're coming from a conglomeration of people that are witches and warlocks, and for the most part, are making the average person's life a, a, a misery. All right, that's the truth, and that's one of the reasons why it's unwise for a king to destroy the, uh, their people, because people wind up rising against their king and killing their king eventually. All right, and for the most part, if you stand as a king, you're supposed to guide your people. For the better. The reason why you got so much wealth is so that you can what? Build on your nation. Build on your people. That's the reason why you stand as a leader and you and you get all of the you get all of the, the goodies so that you can bring 
so that you can use those goodies to better your society and your people. All right. But in this society, people like these devils have a different mentality. Their mentality is that, well, I got it and I'm going to make sure I get more from you and, and keep you poor in the process so that I can profit o of, over your poverty. That's the mentality of these devils. And that's how you uh, create anger and frustration among the people who you're ruling over. To the point where you have riots, you have chaos, you have um, no society at all. You have, what is it, civil unrest. And this is what these devils want. They want civil unrest. Thinking that they're going to formulate a new world system with that mess. Okay? So, yeah, man, um, these people have been revealed by other people, which is through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmi al that they're not for the betterment of the people. They don't serve the interests of the people, but their own interest. And that's that's the that's the fact of the matter. And that's why people down here in Britain ain't trying to really partake into this coronation thing like that. And if they do partake in it, it's to do with the festivities, not to do out of genuine respect of their uh, now pronounced king. So-called anyway, because the real king is your bankers, which control these puppets that you do see on your television, whoever they may be declaring their prominence. Anyway, I'm out. Shalom.